All right, PSA, public service announcement. I'm gonna post a video that you're gonna see it in a minute on the how to of putting the Harley Davidson Trader Hitch cover on as the brake pedal. I put it on my 06 Ultra Classic. Uh, this is San Cal Fatboy from Central California. Doing my best to try to help you all out, but this, do, do not kick me in the face because of the editing on this video, because I've never done it before. I'm trying to do my best to help you all out. Just be aware. What's up, y'all? I'm gonna try to help some people out here. Um, never done this before, but I figure I'm gonna try to help other people out to figure out how to put that Harley Davidson Trader Hitch uh, brake pedal on their Hardys since everybody else is bogarting how they did it. So this is it. It is a $40 Trader Hitch cover that you can buy from Walmart. Um, you can see the back part here. It's got these little plates where you put the hardware that comes with it in there. You're not going to use the hardware, but you are going to use this part. And you're going to use these pieces here for the jig to set up your template so that you can figure out how these holes need to be when you take your brake pedal off to drill them out. So the way I did this right here, let me show you. Turn this camera around new to this stuff so kind of bear with me all right cameras turned around these are the parts that come in there for the hardware they kind of bolt on like this right they bolt on to the top of this thing here with the provided screws you're not even going to use those screws but this is how i made a jig for this i ended up getting some cardboard and as long as these two pieces are sitting together like so, let me grab them here so I bear with me with this camera. I'm trying to do it one handed. As long as these two are together sitting flat, you will get the template that you need to drill the holes out on your brake pedal on your bike once you remove the factory one. So set them together. The line needs to go horizontally, I mean uh, vertically, not horizontally. Do not have them sideways. It'll be going wrong. It needs to go on this way. This is up and down. Once you have this set together, mark your holes and then punch them out like I did here. So this is my jig for this template. As you can see right there, the holes line up. So I'm good to go, set to go take uh, off my brake pedal and set that on the factory base mark my holes punch them drill them and get ready to install the new brake pedal i also made a little gasket little cut a, a piece of a bicycle tube just to go in between the brake pedal base and um, this aluminum piece itself just for vibration and um so that uh, gives it something to stick to. I know I suck at recording, but whatever. I'm going to try to help you guys out, so bear with me. That's how I made the jig. So that way you get a template of how to drill the holes through your stock brake pedal base. You're also going to need these right here. I don't know if you can see the size right there, but this is, you can get them at Harbor Freight or whatever. It's a metric stainless steel m5-0.80 by 12 because these are the factory little screws that come in it and the factory ones you're going to see right now are too small they're not going to go all the way through the brake pedal base and connect into the hitch so you need to get a quarter inch longer screw so these stainless ones are the ones you need to get I also opted for the fancy little Ellen Rich ones because that's just, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So I'll update you guys in a minute. I'm going to go out there and get on my brake pedal and I'll start showing you step by step how to go through this. All right, I'm outside. We're getting swamped out here in uh, Central California. You can see we got a buttload of water, but uh, I'm going to get the bike up on the center jack because I don't like working on the bike when it's uh, leaning over like that on the kickstand so once I get it up there I'll um, show you the rest. Alright I'm back. You see here it's going to be a little crowded with the jack but I don't care I'll make it work. I'll nail down right here around here 
I would rather have it straight up and down so I know where I'm looking at to make sure this is going to be in here right uh, rather than be at an angle. I now need to unbolt that bolt back there and take that base pad off. Once this is unscrewed and unbolted from the back, this cover comes off. If you have a stock one, it's just all going to come off right here and you're going to pull this all off together. And you're just going to have that and that's what uh, you're going to be drilling into and uh, setting up your screw holes with that little template jig thing that we did and we're going to try to put it right here in the center because this is where the center of this base plate is at all right now as you can see i used my little jig thing here i sent it up in the center marked my holes now i'm going to use a punch center punch um Put a little dent in there and then start drilling. I'm gonna use a couple of different drill bits rather than just use one at one time. Cause this is pretty thick metal. This is kind of almost like at least, at least feels like a quarter of an inch steel. So it's gonna take a minute to get through there. I'll get back to you guys. All right, had to run down to the store, grab a uh, punch kit. I couldn't find my punch, but I well, you can see I went ahead and set a punch those holes to start them off before I start drilling. I also threw a little 10 pound dumbbell on top of my uh, floorboard here just to kind of hold that brake pedal from going down while I'm drilling and uh, we're going to get started right here. I also took the air cleaner cover off just so uh, it, I didn't hit it with the hammer when I was swinging the hammer setting the punch. Or, you know, I started off here. I started off here with a tiny drill bit first and then I'm going to step up go to the bigger drill bit down. Using, uh, I believe it's a 1364 is the bit size for this to make it to the right size hole. And just like that, it's a wrap. Let's see back, bolted it through there. Worked out pretty good. Looks clean. I hope you all uh, can use the heads up so that uh, we can spread the word. Instead of everybody wondering, where'd you get that brake pedal from? And nobody wants to tell you. It's a trailer hitch.